Hello my dear friend, I am David Corteza and this is my website www.david-corteza.com In this video we will do together a C program and we will use step by step an array so I will explain how to use an array, so array with even and odd numbers. This program asks the user to type 10 integers that are inserted into an array and that program calculates how many numbers are even and how many numbers are odd. So on my website you can find the uh, PDF in the section Software Engineering and in the subsection C uh, Programming. So let's start, let's do together step by step. Now I use uh, uh, this uh, IDE that is uh, Codeblocks, uh, an open source cross-platform IDE. You can find uh, the video on my playlist uh, that explains how to install. So create a new project, console application, next, it's a C project, next. So project title, we can call it array dash. So with even and odd numbers ok we can click here next finish we use the new GCC compiler ok so let's click here inside the sources folder we find the main.c and we can zoom control plus so we can start together uh, doing step by step. The first thing that we need to do is uh, to define the constant. So uh, we use hashtag define n and uh, it is 10. For, for this exercise it is 10. Then we can delete this line. Instead of return 0 we can write return exit uh, underscore success. Ok, I want to remember that this is the in input output library, this is the standard library uh, for using the exit success uh, you need to use the, this standard library and the library, uh, for using the library you need to write hashtag include and uh, so the name of the library so uh, we can uh, use uh, as uh, integer variables uh, i, even and odd, semicolon at the end, and then we use uh, an array of n elements that are integers. So even is equal to 0 and odd is equal to 0. Now we need a for loop for i that is equal to 0, semicolon i less than n, i plus plus, print f between parentheses, between quotation marks, number, Paste percent t is equal to comma i plus one semicolon at the end scan f that is the function for reading uh, what the user writes using the keyboard so percent d percent d is because uh, it is an integer comma ampersand d I because it is a scalar. Remember that uh, this is the name of the vector but we are passing a specific element of the vector so we need to use the ampersand because we are passing the address of that element inside the vector. So that is the array. 
So for another for loop for i that is equal to zero semicolon i less than n i plus plus then we write an if so if v Uh, the array v i percent two is equal to zero. So the meaning of this is uh, when we divide uh, this uh, number uh, by two, that uh, this is the the remainder of the division. So if uh, dividing by two, the remainder is uh, zero, it is an even number. So we must increment the counter of the even numbers. Else, between braces, odd plus plus. Then we write print test at flash end because we want a new line. Even numbers is equal to percent d because it is an integer. Backslash n because we want a new line. Even because we are writing the variable that we have called even is print test. And then print test the same thing but for the odd numbers. So back to left chain because we want a new line numbers is equal to percent d back slash n comma odd semicolon at the end return exit success. So we can try the code ok let's click here in uh, let's click here this symbol, symbol that is build and run ok number one one number two two three four five six seven eight nine ten even numbers is equal to 5 and odd numbers is equal to 5. Ok. Let's try the release. Build and run. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2. So even numbers 1, odd numbers 9. Ok. So it works. So this program asks the user to type 10 integers that are inserted into an array and the program calculates how many numbers are even and how many numbers are odd. So it works. You can find this PDF on my website in the section C programming that is inside the section software engineering. On my website you can find a lot of information about software engineering, web development, mathematics, physics, chemistry. You can find also games, for example the game of chess. You can play against the CPU, it is written in uh, JavaScript, but you can find also many other games, for example, the memory game. So you can uh, spend your time by playing, by studying. Uh, there are also a lot of uh, apps. Uh, some of these apps uh, are also published on the Google Play Store. I have also an app publishing on the Apple Store. Uh, these are the contacts for my social networks. Uh, so I have also a chat, a personal chat. You can chat with me um, 
you need to sign up using your email and dear friend your donation uh, is important help me update this website and join this community thank you for watching see you next time bye bye